Mr. Chacharoni, this is Hal Jacobs, PGA professional at Worcester Country Club, just reviewing our golf lesson on October 7, 2011. Uh, here's a driver down the line, and we talked uh, a lot about the, the, the takeaway of your golf swing. So let me just draw a few lines. Um, you've got uh, this line right here, which is obviously club uh, swing plane, uh, your spine angle. Let me just uh, draw a box around your head here. And um, I think what you're going to see as we take this back, the golf club head itself goes way inside the line, uh, and the hands stay above the line. So if we, uh, over here on the right, if we drew similar lines on uh, Lucas Glover, I just want you to see as he takes the golf club back, how his club head stays underneath. Uh, the line, but his hands are also underneath the line as well. Um, and, and one of the things that I like to look at is this uh, line right here. When you create an angle between the, basically you have a board right above your forearms. Uh, and I'll show you what Lucas Glover looks like over here. And as you take the golf club back, you can see he stays well underneath it. Um, and then as you take the golf club back, you can see your hands kind of go right onto the line, if not above it. And that's uh, that's going to be a tough move for you to recover. You can see you get to the top of the golf swing, and the club is uh, not in the you know best position. Uh, you're a little bit low in terms of your hands, um, and that's because you're more around. Let me just show you a couple other guys. Uh, Stewart Sink. And here's a guy uh, who's just like you in terms of height, you know, tall guy. And take a look at his takeaway. See how his hands stay well underneath it and, and where the club is in position in terms of where it is in, in his hand. Let me just go back here and show you where you are. So here you are. Uh, your hands kind of get above that line, and then the club head gets uh, well inside. And you can see how far away your hands are from your body as compared to him. Uh, Lucas Glover was, was really close. But let me just show you Ernie Els here. And, uh, again, we're going to just draw a I know he's hitting that an iron, but uh, I'll show you your uh, your iron swing in a second. It's not that dissimilar. So he is pretty much on that line, if not a tad inside, and you can see where his club head is. Let me bring up uh, an iron swing of yours. And uh, let me just draw this the same little line here. And you see your hands get outside that, and the club head gets well on the inside. So you've got a pretty good golf swing. I, I think that I would work on that. Um, let's just show you address position, because we talked a little bit about getting just a tiny bit farther away with your irons. Uh, so you can see his uh, setup is just a tiny bit farther away. The other thing that I found interesting when I slowed your swing down uh, a lot, I saw something I, I couldn't have saw with my naked eye. But take a look at your thumb, and then you get to the top, and now as you come down, right there, your thumb comes off the shaft, and it happens on every swing that I videotaped. Uh, so that's definitely something you can look at. If, if, you're, if your right hand has that much pressure where, where your thumb's falling off the shaft, uh, that could be, in terms of consistency, a little bit problematic, especially as you get towards the uh, longer clubs. And then the, the last thing I'm just going to remind you about is the top of the shaft and how uh, you should grip it so that your the pad on your hand uh, shouldn't uh, – the top of the shaft should be equal with the pad of your hand. It shouldn't get uh, too far um, away, you know, before you were wearing out those lines because the club was too – you were gripping it too far up on the club. Uh, if that makes sense. So if you have any questions, feel free to email or call or stop by the shop.